Hi, this is Azu, and today we're working on our Lesson 16 Notes. I called it Lesson 16 Notes in class, but actually, if you could just pause the video here and update your table of contents. We did a notebook check today in class, and we finished our burger problem, but you're going to update this in your uh, notebook, our scale drawings. In your notebook on page 29, you're going to go ahead and turn to that page and you're going to copy this, so pause the video here. We're going to be talking about scale drawings today. Our goal is to use proportions to find scale drawings, so let's get started. A scale drawing basically is any smaller thing being enlarged or something that's enlarged um, scaled down. So we can scale something up or scale something down. If we wanted to, let's say, take this picture of a bedroom, then in real life it's definitely much bigger, but as you drew it on a sheet of paper, it is a bedroom that is 13 meters by 13 meters in real life, but we could also measure it and see how many inches or centimeters that is. So in a scale drawing, first of all, a scale is what defines the proportional relationship between the distance on a map or drawing and then the actual distance. So as you already copied that definition into your notebook today, our goal basically is we're going to use what we already know about proportions to help us find scale drawings. Let's look at the first problem. First we have this wonderful map where we see that uh, this beautiful building, the Dunster House, uh, is measuring from here to here as seven centimeters. Now the map scale is telling me that for every one centimeters, that is the same as 200 meters. Now I know a lot of us can do a simple multiplication, get our answer, but I, what I want us to do is to set it up by writing a proportion. And so remember that a proportion is, it's two ratios that are equal to each other. And so here we have the proportion that we're going to write where we're going to create two ratios. And the ratio that I'm going to create is our centimeters out of meters. The map to the actual size of the building and the length. So I'm going to simply take the first ratio, which comes from my scale here, which is one centimeter by 200 meters right here. That is our scale. That is always going to be one of the ratios that we're going to write. And I do want to apologize again for the writing. I'm still waiting for my new stylus to come in, so it's a little bit not very good looking. Then I'm going to create a second ratio. Now the second ratio must also represent centimeters out of meters. And since I know that the distance on the map is measuring seven centimeters, I'm going to put that in the numerator. And I'm looking for the actual distance, so that's going to be my x. To find x, I can simply cross multiply. 1 times x is x, and 7 times 200 is going to be on the other side, which is 1400. And if you cannot do that in your head, that don't worry, we're going to just write it on the side, show your work. And so that tells me that I've got the actual distance measuring 100 1,400 meters. Let's go back to your notes. Now, we are going to, in the next example, go ahead and write this in your notes. So here we have the actual distance from LA to Houston. Well, we are finding the actual distance. So if you can copy this into your notes, just like this, Go ahead and pause the video here to copy it as best as you can, really. You're looking at the distance from LA to Houston. So let's continue. If you would like to try this problem first by yourself, you may. And then you can uh, uh, play it back when you're ready. So here we have that from LA to Houston, it's going to be for every inch on the scale map, it's measuring 300 miles in actual distance. So to create a proportion, I'm going to start with the map in inches and then the actual distance in miles. So I'm creating two ratios. The ratio that I'm going to first create is based on the scale. And that ratio will be 1 over 30. 1 for the inches and 300 for the miles as you already see there. Then I'm going to 
actually measure that. Now we don't know the actual measurement, but I'm going to give that to you. And that's actually measuring exactly five inches. We've got five little segments, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be five over x. And I'm simply again going to cross multiply. One times x is x. 300 times five is 1500. I do need to make sure I keep that equal sign in the middle because I am looking for x and I want to know what x is equal to. And so our x and our actual distance is 1500 miles. Let's see if you can try this problem by yourself. And this, please write this also in your notes. And this is going to be the last example in your notes tonight. So whatever I see in your notes, I will know that you took exactly from here. It's okay if you cannot draw the picture of the car, but you definitely want to copy this down, your scale. We know that for every inch, in real life, the car is going to be 2.5 feet. Already we are seeing a measurement for the length of the car. On the picture that we see, we notice it is how many inches? Four inches, very good. Now we're going to measure the height of this speedster. And if you didn't know, Mrs. Zuz loves cars. I love cars. Using our ruler here, can you tell how many inches the height of the speedster is? Good, it's four and a quarter inch. Right? Now to create my uh, ratios, I'm going to first use my scale drawing. I'm going to do the map over the actual length of the speedster. So let's first start with the length. I'm going to have 1 over 2.5 feet. That's my scale. I want to first take the length. Now the length of the car would be from the head to the um, trunk. So we said that we measured 4 inches on our picture. So we're going to do 4 over x. Then I'm simply going to cross multiply. 1 times x is x. We've had some really easy numbers here to work with with the 1 and the x. Um, then we're going to multiply 2.5 times 4. And if you could try that yourself, pause the video. You will get 10. So my actual length is going to be 10 feet. Now let's try the height. We're still going to use the same scale for the first ratio. That's going to be 1 over 2.5. And remember, we're using uh, inches in the numerator and feet in the denominator. So we must keep that consistent in our next ratio. The height, as we measured, was one and a quarter inch. Now we can express that as a fraction, or we can simply change it to a decimal. What would be the decimal equivalent to the fraction one and a quarter? Good, it's 1.25. A quarter is 25 cents, so that's where we get the 0.25. And I'm going to write that over y because that's what I'm looking for is the actual distance in feet of the speedster. We're going to do a simple cross multiplication. 1 times y is y. And we're going to cross multiply on the other side, making sure that I have my equal sign. And when I multiply, I get 3.125, which means the height of the actual speedster is 3 feet, 3.125 feet. That is the same fractional amount as 3 and an eighth of a foot. So if you also had it an eighth instead of the decimal equivalent, then you're also correct. Tomorrow in class, um, let me give you the uh, secret code here. Our secret code for period 1 is going to be Pen. Period one is going to be yellow. Then we're going to do period two is blue. Period three is green. And period five is going to be black. And we will see you tomorrow. 
So again, remember that um, from now on we will be mostly watching videos for your homework. If there's any questions about anything, please feel free to let me know.